That's another thing I've been working on for quite a while. I got this Baker Heller Ehler windmill. I believe it's around a 19, I think I've been told it's around a 1930s era, 35, 37. Um, pretty bad shape when I got it here. I got it off a friend of mine who got it off another guy. Uh, everybody had the intent to put it up, but I'm making a little headway on it. Uh, I got the top unit pretty much rebuilt. This is all brand new here. The old one, uh, if I can dig it out here without confusing everybody too badly. Here's the old one. You can see it has been rebuilt once. You can see down the bottom there where it's all was worn through and somebody put a brass bushing in there. And then the brass bushing is just about worn, worn big egg shaped anyway. So I replaced all that with uh, a bunch of nice roller bearings. All right, here we are at the windmill. I got the top cover taken off just to show you what's inside here. Now, obviously, I've taken all the pumping mechanism out. Um, this is going to be set up just as a spinner. Uh, no real need to have it pumping water, and it's not placed over top of a well here. So, just wanted to show you what I ended up doing since I put this new piece here to shaft this new front nose piece there's a bearing up in here here and then you can see back in here if i can get you there's a bearing that that new front piece comes all the way that nose piece comes all the way in here so there's a bearing clear back here and then there's a thrust bearing right behind this collar and of course that shaft is clear through to the back and i have another thrust bearing right up against the casting, if I can do this with my finger, I see what I'm doing here, oh, finger's in the wrong spot, yeah, there's a thrust bearing right in between there, another collar, and then, of course, back here, I have another set of bearings back here, so it's well supported, and, of course, grease fitting in between the bearings on both sides, same up here, and then I got, you know, the seals taken out of the bearings on the inside faces, so you can pump grease in, and then it'll Grease the bearings. Of course, this guy here, we got our, that's going to be for the cable that furls the tail, and it's a stainless steel screw there. Um, just want to give you a look at the inside of this thing, so there you go. Moves nice and free. And it was, like I say, it was all line board out. I line board it straight through, so everything's all nice and in line and square. So it should make a pretty good job. Here's some of the flat uh, blade blanks that I had that uh, I ended up making them out of. There's a few stacked here extra. But that's how they started out. This was the die I built to form those different blades. Uh, that's the top half there. That's the bottom half there. And what this does this goes on top like that that's what forms the, the pieces like that and there you go so that goes on there and what I did was I drew the whole thing up in CAD what the blades were the curve best I could get from the old blade that I had and since I didn't really have any way of machining this whole thing in one big shape, I took the CAD profile and I split it into three quarter inch sections and I made a little drawing for each one. So I made each radius in each three quarter inch section of wood, then bolted all the pieces of wood together to get my overall overall die in order to and I of course I subtracted the blade out of the die so that when they're together with the blade in there that gives the shape. Then I like to put this in a hydraulic press with the piece of sheet metal in there, pressed it down, and gave me the shape I wanted. Well there it is. Got all the tips painted red. Looking pretty good.
That's an eight foot diameter fan. There's the top section of the Baker windmill. Just got it in here in the garage from the pole barn. Gonna start going over it. Got it cleaned up. Gonna get some paint on it. It's actually not bad at all. It's really almost no rust. It's been definitely painted with aluminum paint before. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on it before I put it up. Everything's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna have to do a little work on this top bearing. Uh, I put the other part of the bearing cap on it and you can see it's uh kind of rides in here even with the balls it's rubbing so you know many years of this thing spinning around and around um kind of got itself worn down in there so i'll we'll do a little remachining on that part and my helper cat say hi to the camera there butterscotch yeah she likes to help a lot Oh, but it's just tired, huh? You're tired.